Ah, oh, the whippoorwill. I've longed to hear the singing from that bird. Hope you uh, all have been enjoying y'all's April and May spring seasons as much as I have. Guys, you see this right here and you see the sun's about to go down. You see a bunch of bait right here in the water. You see fish flipping right here. You see activity everywhere. Boy, ain't this just the prettiest sight? The rain is just beginning to move out. We have the sun trying to paint the sky red before it goes completely down. And though that the weather system is moving through, that don't mean the fish ain't going to bite after it does. That is our hope and that is our gamble. So we got our anchor down, wrapped around right there. Okay, well, only other thing we need to do is drop this line in the water and start fishing. All right, we wanna hook him through the belly like so. Get him over like that, one little cast, and there we go. It's off to the races. Ah, got a pretty good crappie on, folks. Oh, and he's a fighting mad. And I mean fighting mad. Boys, I'm telling you right now, that's a good crappie right there. That is a very darn good crappie right there. Got himself hooked. Wow. Wow, what a crappie. I was working on my line. Look how big that crappie is. Folks, that's every bit of 14. Every bit of it. Good, good, good crappie. Super, super good crappie. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That is a beautiful crappie. That is what we like to see. working on my fishing uh, line right here that got all tangled up in a big mess and I ended up catching that crappie working on it that pole thumped I mean he thumped it and it was on like Donkey Kong got another fish got another good fish oh well, he's not as good as the last one it might not even keep Still got my mental too. He might keep, but I don't know. No, he definitely will not keep. I don't know if you can see how small he is up against the light. We'll give her a shot anyway. <laughs> He's not even close. I ain't even about to. We'll let him go. He flipped up against me. He wasn't too happy with me. Got a fish on right here, folks. That's not too terrible of a fish. Yeah, it's not too terrible of a fish at all, folks. That's a pretty decent fish right there. Might swallow the hook. Oh, he swallowed it. Oh, boy, he swallowed it. Yep, ain't getting that one back. That's okay. He's a keeper though. That's about maybe 11 and a half, 12 or something like that. So all we gonna do is move our stuff like that. Put them in the bucket. <laughs> he don't like me now. That's okay, because I love him. I love him very much. Cause he going in the in the deep fryer someday. I had a fish on. I felt a little funny thump. Thought nothing of it. 
So I took a little jerk at it, and there he was. He's no keeper. He's no keeper. That's not a bad little fish. He's pretty. All crappie are pretty. Go on back. <laughs> Hello. Hey, love book. Hey. Just letting you know that uh, I'm safe and I've got two fish in the bucket already. You do? Yes, ma'am. What you got? Crappie. Crappie. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a fish right now. Hey, that's a keeper. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I think he swallowed it. Did he swallow your, did he swallow my hook? Oh, he did. Oh, well. I felt a thump, and it was an aggressive thump. I set the hook too late, but that's okay. He's a keeper. Ow, he fanned me. Ow. Oh yeah, that's a for sure keeper. All right. Okay, so. I might have to show this during the daylight, how I rig up my snag, set, uh, snag line, my snag setup. Anyway, um, I've got a size, I believe this is a size two eagle claw hook or treble hook. And what I do is I'll top a polymer knot, about three loops on it. And what I do is after I cinch that loop in, I'll have about, eh, roughly about two feet of line. That's probably about 18 inches. That's fine. Then I'll get my, uh, oh, I had a fish on. it! I had a fish on, didn't know it. Good grief, foolish me. Uh, for this one, this is not necessary to do, but I'm tying a polymer knot on it as well for the uh, egg drop sinker. And generally, when it's said and done, I got about, yeah, that's about a foot. A little, little, little bit longer than that, probably. There is so thick here of shad that one snagged itself. Now, ain't that something? And I've already got a fish. That's a good one. Ah, it ain't a good one. He tricked me. And he swallowed my hook yet again. Doggone, y'all. Y'all a bunch of hook robbers. Yeah, you are. Sorry guys, I keep thinking that my camera is off and I think I turn it on when in fact it was already on. But anyway, there's another crappie. Pretty good keeper. That's an 11, right on the button. All right, let's put him in the book. Crappie number four. Well. This is the 20th crappie of the night. With only six keepers in the bucket, or maybe uh, five. I don't think I've got six yet. We're gonna measure him. We'll see if he'll make the grade. Okay. Nah, he's probably gonna be short. <laughs> hey, 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 be easy. Yep, he's nine and a half. Half inch shy uh, from the keeper mark. Huh, but that's okay. He, he, he put up a good fight though. And we're going on 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock midnight. Shown right here, folks. That might be a crappie. Crappie, sure is, and a keeper. Ah, well, well, I don't know. I said keeper right off the bat. He might be short. We'll have to measure him. And I 
don't know if he swallowed the hook either. We'll have to find out and see. No, barely didn't. Good deal. I like that. A keeper and we might get to save our hook. Well, look at there. Got to save our hook. Now, let's see what this fish measures. Bunch of junk and stuff in the way. Oh yeah, he is 10 and 3 eighths. 10 and 3 eighths. He's bleeding, but he'll be fine, even though it don't matter because we're, we're going to cut him up. But, uh, another one. Now this is a good fish. Yep, keeper number eight. That's a very good fish. And you see what, oh, well, you probably don't. I'm using extremely small minnows. I mean, super small. And I'm catching slaps off of them super tiny ones. I got a fish on, folks. I don't know what it is. Uh, small mouth or is that a large mouth oh that's a large mouth I hooked on a really good large mouth that's what's been hooked hanging around I saw this fish forever hanging around or hovering around the light there and I could never figure out what in the world it was but now I know, largemouth. Is that a large? Or is that a Kentucky? No, no, that's a large. Nope, not a bad largemouth. That's about a little two pounder. Yeah, pretty thing. Well, we aren't after you, boy. We'll let you go. Thank you for showing us, uh, uh, showing off. That's all, folks. It's approaching 1.40 in the morning. <laughs> Which is my time to call it. Time to pack up. And time to go home. Yep. Done pretty good. So, we'll get all this dumped out. Let's wait to worry about when we get back. And then... We will go ahead and make some shad mad. <laughs> You're about to hear him flip. Listen. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, this is the day after Wednesday. Um, had a really good night of fishing. Uh, we we're able to bring nine keepers back home all together and the biggest one being 14 and a quarter inch long that's really 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 good so really glad and 
blessed that we were able to get all those fish in. And uh, we're gonna start cooking up some fish here in the next little bit. So before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put our kayak down here in the storage for later on. Forgive the mess if you can see it in the camera, but there's the wife's kayak right there. I thought I might've had a chance to go again today, but turns out I didn't. So that's why we're now putting the kayak back into the basement a full day later. And that right there, that's catfish bait. That is stinky, rotten catfish bait. We call her honey. But we all know she ain't sweet like honey. She is spoiled rotten. Aren't you, baby girl? And we got jealous. Ew, don't sniff her butt. You darn nasty dog. Get on over there. There's the crappie bandit right there. Yeah, you see, this is my little bit of yard right here. Nothing too much to look at, but we've cleared some trees from where the people that lived here before had a tree orchard here. And we weren't able to, uh, to enjoy ourselves with all the fruit and stuff that had uh, produced here, such as the pears and apples and whatever. That's an apple tree right here, but it's a crab apples, and they ain't worth eating. If y'all know what crab apples are, you know that they ain't good eating. So, anyway, this is my little bit of property right here. And, uh, actually, we might have some berries right here growing. But anyway, um, I just want to say thank y'all so much again for tuning in and uh, supporting this channel. For those that subscribed, y'all are fantastic people. Thank y'all so much. Um, sorry that it took so long to put some videos up and I might have a couple of videos that I'm able to put up that I had recorded back in late March and the start of April, but I just not had a chance to put them up yet. But anyway, uh, yeah, we got some blooms right here. I'm going to produce some wild berries. I say wild berries. Uh, ah, some type of sweet berry. I, I can't remember exactly what it is. But yeah, eventually this, this right here will be one big garden set up here for the mama bears. And uh, anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I do apologize for the video being so dark and really hard to see. Um, but all in all, uh, I do hope that you all did enjoy watching what you could see and uh next time we're going to go fishing we're going to have ourselves a, a daytime fishing trip go after some crappie again i want to get some walleye in but ain't got no success that last night that's okay not a worries we'll we'll figure that out later and uh it, i mean what else is there to be said thank you all again so very much and uh, we look forward to seeing you watching some crappie cat videos on next time. See y'all later.